What's up guys, Gomo here and welcome back to another 6pm content video where today it is Boxing Day. Hopefully you guys have had a fantastic Christmas if you're still celebrating it. Hopefully you're still enjoying it. Obviously we have plenty of content on FIFA that came out yesterday that we're going to cover because obviously we weren't here for it. It's Christmas Day. I needed the day off. But we're also going to cover today's 6pm content. Hopefully we're going to get something good. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video, like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that being said, let's go hop into today's 6pm content. And so here we go. Now, as I say, obviously, we weren't going to be here for 6 p.m. yesterday because I wanted a bit of Christmas off. Um, I was sat building a mini figure of Anfield. It took me far too long and I'm still working on it. But Christmas decorations are down out of my background. That is because I want to focus, get ready for team of the year. That is coming in about three weeks time. So hopefully that's going to be good. As I say yesterday, we got quite a lot of content. We got a brand new cup. We got a brand new team two impacts along with team one, which is great. We had a brand new left back Evo for, I think it was like Pep something. I can't remember exactly what it was, but we had a lot of good content yesterday, so hopefully today that content can continue on. I have a feeling it could be quite good. We've got Mbappé coming in as the player SBC, which could be pretty fun. I think we got Del Piero yesterday on top of a Balotelli, which is really nice. This was Team 2 that came out. We've got David Alba behind me as well, um, but again, some really, really good options. He's a really good option to play as a left-back for the Evo with his inform. Some fun icons here as well, some top players. Again, Kyle Walker in at centre-back is going to be incredible. I think I've packed the majority of them so far already. We opened a lot of store packs yesterday on Rocco's. Yeah, it was on Rocco's stream, actually. Um, and so they're going to be on TikTok over the next day or two. Because why not? May as well. So, in terms of what we have for today, I don't know if we'll get much in terms of the objectives because we have had a lot recently. Obviously, the Cup came out. I played three games in that just to try and get a few games played. It wasn't too bad. Um, but in terms of everything else, I don't think we get anything there, which is absolutely fine. No problem there. We also got a Rivals bonus. I don't know if this was yesterday or the day before. Um, but again, if you're in Division 1 and play 11 games, you're going to get quite a lot of packs, which is very nice. Gives you an incentive to work up the divisions as well, I guess, which isn't too bad. Um, so nothing too new from Milestones by the looks of it, which kind of is no shock. I'm also going to guess no new Evos because of how many we had. This was the one that we had yesterday, so you upgrade a left back by five ratings. Some really good options just from me and the club. We could do a captive here. We'll go to a 91 rated card, which I think is fantastic. So yeah, fair play to EA on making that fairly cheap as well. Um, in terms of what upgrades we've had today, I think we haven't had any more Evos. I don't think we have anyway, unless there's one that I'm missing, which I don't think I am. Yeah, I think, I think they're still the same for Evos, which, do you know what, it's absolutely fine, because there's so many to do, fair play to EA on that, I just didn't expect to get too many more. Um, yesterday we did also get some extra bits and bobs, we've got a year in review player pick now, one of three base icons or campaign players that was released, okay, hang on a sec, this is weird, so you get a base icon or a campaign player, not heroes or icons, in this player pick that were released throughout... SBCs. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. So the icons and that came out in icon SBCs that aren't the campaign icons or any other SBCs that came out in November are all in this. It's an 84 and an 85 rated team, which actually isn't that expensive to do. The daily login is there, of course, so make sure to get that complete. It is worth doing that SBC. Um, in terms of what we've got, obviously the 85 plus player picks, the 83 times 10s are back. Of course they are. Um, we also got an 81 double upgrade yesterday, I think we got. So that was pretty decent. Um, Christmas cheers, we got that yesterday as well. So make sure to complete that. It's a 50k pack. May as well do it. Kevin and Barbu is today's player SBC. We knew about this one. The card, pretty decent. Nothing anything too special, but it's a fan favourite. So of course we were going to get him at some point. It's an 83 and an 85 rated team. Team of the week needed. It's fairly cheap. It's not too bad altogether. Um, but I think... That is it for SBCs. Now, I've done the majority of player SBCs that are available right now. Um, trust me, there's a lot of them. Um, so, I think it seems to be a pretty quiet day for content today. Considering what we've had recently, um, I actually thought it might have been a little bit busier for content. But it isn't by the looks of it. I think that is pretty much it for content. And Barbu's coming in about 85k, which isn't too bad. Obviously, the inform is the majority of that price point anyway. So, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that and the year in review player pick, I think we might go and test that out, see if we can get anything good in that year in review player pick, because it could be half decent, it might not be amazing, but it could be alright, um, obviously I would hope it's alright, 
because the better we get, the more it helps. Now, I don't even know exactly who's going to be in this. Um, I haven't personally got anything to pull up that says who's in it, but obviously it's whoever's been in here. Do you know what? Actually, it's only repeatable once every four days, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, it's only going to be the people that have came in November. So I guess play the month of Mbappe is available in this. Um, if you do get him, then, you know, fair play. Uh, I'm jealous. Uh, I'd love a player of the month of Mbappe because, do you know what? It would just save having to do anything else. Now, in terms of the icons, I think we already have the majority of them. So it's one of them. It, it probably wouldn't help us out too much getting an icon. But hey, hope we'll see what's what. Um, but what we do is if we put in... 6 83 rated players, 3 84 rated players, and 2 85s. That will sort this out for us. So we just need to go ahead and buy an extra 84 rated. And then that will be the 84 rated team complete, which is absolutely fine. And then for the 85 rated team, we'll just go and use a load of high rated cards that we have in the club. We've got a few 84s, 85s, 86s that will be lying around. So it shouldn't be too bad. Again, 84s are fairly cheap as well. Fodder is at an all-time low, it feels like right now. Um, it feels like kind of how it was at the start of the game. Fodder absolutely on the floor. So a bit of an interesting one. We will see what happens with that. The Jumbo Gold Pack does give us a Mexican player, but nothing else too much. I'm kind of hoping as we're doing this, somebody might possibly come up with a bit of an image for us to use to find out actually who is available in these player picks. But by the looks of it, I don't think we do have anything. Obviously, a lot of stores, um, store packs have refreshed, which is kind of no shock in all honesty. Um, but we need an 85 rated team in this. And as I say, it shouldn't be too bad. We have got a few 86 rated that we can use that should bolster out the team a little bit. Um, so if we chuck all of these in, and then we can probably go ahead and use some 83 rated, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, in terms of who else, we could probably chuck in a Musiala. And then, yeah, if we go with all 83s, we've got plenty of them in the club. Obviously, from opening the 500k, 600k packs, all of those that are released, kind of no shock, really. So that is that. I do just want to quickly check, see if I can save any of these 86 rateds for another 83 rated, because if we can, that would be fantastic. Can we? We can. That's really good. Uh, can we save another one, maybe? Not quite. So that is going to be where we are at for that. So to finish off today's video, here it is. The brand new year in review player pick. Hopefully this is going to be something good. It is one of three, so it could be ideal. The question is, EA, what are we going to get? We are going to see, to finish things off, it's good if you haven't done any of these cards already. However, I have all three of these cards already owned, so sadly, Malcolm will be a bit of fodder for us. Let me know down below what you guys get in yours, and for now, today, that's where we're going to leave it. I'm out. Peace.